And so, first of all, welcome to London and welcome to our uh, new monitoring and brain mapping course. The spirit of the course uh, is that uh, uh, you will get teaching about uh, uh, neuromonitoring and mapping, but the idea is to keep it interactive uh, as much as possible. And we welcome always questions, feedback, uh, and active participation from, from the audience. In terms of uh, outcome, one of the most uh, relevant aspects uh, uh, with the introduction of uh, IOM uh, and technical mapping and monitoring is the extent of resection for tumors that we can uh, safely achieve uh, in our patients. And this can really make an impact in terms of uh, survival and quality of life. I would not feel comfortable to operate in a tumor in a highly eloquent area, whether for motor, speech or cognition, without the use of uh, uh, brain mapping, monitoring, or awake craniotomies. I don't think that would be recommendable. I think this is an, an uh, excellent course. It's um, wonderful organized. It has great content. It's very interactive. And you can also see this because it's fully booked. You need a collaboration between industry and clinical workers in a good way, because only in that way you can advance the field. I think the main ideas of this course is that we empower our delegates that monitoring and mapping are not only intraoperative techniques or tools, but actually it's an attitude that starts before surgery, continues during the surgery, and even goes beyond that after surgery. So we want to deliver to our delegates an integrated approach of both techniques, monitoring and mapping. I think our generation of neurosurgeons, we um, were taught and we were trained, empowered by these techniques. These techniques allow us to have safer resections, allow us to interrogate the brain to a larger extent, so we can extend the resections in more eloquent areas. And these are changing um, the, the lives and the outcomes of our patients.